they sit on the there's, there's no snakes crawling around here. Why you got two leg snakes? I mean, always say the joke is we got two leg snakes also. <laughs> so, not necessary. But, uh, so, but who's doing that? Who's going off to the forest? I mean, no one wants to sit down in the living room and meditate for 15 minutes. What are you doing 15 minutes? So, apane, jubati, pranam, 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 tapare, and you have to know how to actually balance the life errors. It, it's very difficult. It doesn't, it doesn't work for people of this age. So, what works for people of this age is harinama in the So, that's why it says harinama, harinama, harinama in the Kalo, in this age of Kali, nastiva. Nasteva, Nasteva. It's not karma, Nasti, Nasti. It's not again, either by speculation. It's not by yoga, Nasteva, Nasteva, Nasteva. So, but it's very simple. It's very easy. As soon as chanting one yeah. mantra, one round japa every, every day. day, isn't it? You send me from there. Almost every day. Or yeah, every day? I was miss that. Like that. Yeah, yours is too big. I'm getting mad. It's so hard. It's so hard. It's so hard. Yes. It's so hard. It's a big one. You know, when I met him for the first time, I just told him, I said, this is very nice beads you have. He said, don't get them in India. I said, go to Vrindavan and get it. You know, from Budapest, he sent me a package with a small Gita and one of these beads, you know. Big, small, it doesn't matter. I know, big or small. Yeah. It's in the mantra. Mantra. Yes. Yeah. This is just a calculator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. And it's much easier, that's all. Traditional count. So we count. You know, in India, there are many people who go 64 times around. There's 108 beads. Oh, yeah. So that means one mantra per bead. Every time you chant a mantra, you move along. For an armed Krishna consciousness movement, minimum someone has to do 16 for, for initiation. For Diksha, okay. one has to do 16 rounds. Otherwise, uh, there are those who chant 32 times around, 64 times around, 128 times around, 192 times around. Per day. 24 hours a day. In the road also, when I see people walking, they have India Mantra. That's all right. But chanting when you're doing something else is one thing. Yes. But the real thing is that you're not doing anything else. Uh, it's, just like it's just like you're walking around the road and you're talking to, you're talking to you but paying attention to other things and she doesn't take it very kindly. I don't. Because you don't <laughs> pay attention. So that's, a, that's a usual complaint. You are telling me. That is a usual complaint. That's yeah. a usual complaint. And you are very disappointed. So picking up the telephone. Yes. yes. How do you know that? Yes, yes. How do you know that? Because um, you know, yes. everyone in India is doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Swamiji, then what is the solution? We have to go about our daily works. We have to go to work as well. And the point is, I mean, it's a question for me. Where do we start about it? What we can't leave our work without diva jobs, without leave our household work. So maybe we start about it. How do you go about doing it? Tell us about that, you know, because that is what this, the need of the art. <laughs> he's caught me. No, no, he's reduced a lot. He's reduced a lot. He's back. He's, he's no, no, he's not. Yeah, he's, he's reduced. He's working. <laughs> and he's not. Don't eat too better. much. Don't eat too little. Don't sleep too much. Don't sleep too little. Don't work too much. Don't work too little. There, there has to be a balance. And not too much scolding your husband also. <laughs>
Everything is balanced. As long as you do take my side. Something has to be there. Balance means there has to be some. Sorry, he's balanced. He's not supporting anybody. So unique. But in our world today, we're not living by what we need. We're living way beyond our needs. So we're living by our wants. I want. And our wants. And there's no end to that. And our wants are complete, continually being fueled and fed by a consumer society that we too live much, in. Too much materialism. So advertising more, 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 more. And if you keep chasing after more, 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 then you'll never be satisfied. So rather, we have to, it's just like in business, you need to do time management. You have to organize your time. So life has to be based on time management. We have to organize our time and to actually budget. All right, I have to have this much time for... The priorities start off with, I have to have priority for my family. I have to have priority for my spiritual life. Then I have to have, I have priority for myself. And last should come actually work. So we need health. We need time for family. We need time for ourselves, and that can also include our own spiritual needs as well. And that's best done in the morning. So you have to budget aside time. And there are many, many devotees who, all over the world, and many people, so you take, for instance, Arjuna. So he had, he had more work to do. He was, ultimately, he was helping Yudhisthi Maharaj. They were running the whole world. You're talking about doing a little business, running a little company, or even running some government agency, but they were managing the whole world from Hastinapur. But still, they were doing the spiritual practices. So, you know, there's a very good saying, is that you have to put first things first. So what's the first thing? The first thing is, the permanent thing, the permanent asset, our own spiritual well-being. Because you have to work, you say you can't leave your work, you can't leave your family, but you're going to leave them. Oh, yes. One day yes. it's going to be finished yeah. Yeah. and they're gone. And that day could be tomorrow or it could be 20 years from now, but like it or not, then the business has to go on without you. The family has to go on without you. And it will go on. The world is, and it will go on. Yeah, everything will go on. So if it's going on then, why not now? It doesn't mean we have to leave, but they have to have the balance. Attached. And what, yes, we're attached. But what do we do? We have to take with us. What is it that we can take? You can't take your bank balance, you can't take your family members, but Krishna says, but what you will take with you is your spiritual attainment. So the spiritual benefit that we get, that we can take with us. And therefore, we have to make that type of bank balance, spiritual bank balance. So, rise in the morning, first thing, let me read a few verses from Bhagavad Gita. Let me chant Hare Krishna. Yes. If you want to do some puja, let me do some puja. Yes. And then let the day begin. And then build on that. And we have to examine, do I actually need to keep pursuing endless needs? How much, how much do we really need to live? Yeah. Uh, this world is full of excess and we're living in a consumer world where we're manufacturing and producing so many things. You know, when I first came to India, which was getting on to 50 years ago, uh, it was not possible for me to make a telephone call in Vrindavan to phone my mother. I had to go all the way into the post office and I had to book wait there to book a call. It's Receiving a call was hopeless, forget it. Yes. So there's no... A life went on. 
Now we've got mobile call. What does it mean? Any time that you're doing something anywhere, you're in the bathroom and the telephone's ringing, and then you feel impelled to answer. How are you? Same the way I was yesterday when you called me. <laughs> what has changed? So there are so many things that our world is building up on so many artifices, consumer items, things that we don't need to live. What do we need to live? We need a, we need a roof over our head. I need an apartment. I need some furniture. There's only so much you can eat. So, but when we start to actually become obsessed with acquiring, uh, with excessive education, more and more and more, then there's only 24 hours a day, and you lose that. But we become attached. But Mitya Sarva Harash and death comes, and attached or not attached, it goes. You lose it. So that attachment is a very, it can be a very dangerous thing, and it's a very good thing. When you become attached to the right thing, so it's like it's described, attachment to family and so many other things uh, is what actually causes bondage in this world, but that same attachment when you dovetail it to sadhus, to saintly persons, to Bhagavad Gita, to Nam Sankatan, Moksha Dwara Upavitana opens the door to liberation. So if you want to be liberated, then that's where attachment is good. And therefore attachment, it's natural that we have a certain degree of attachment, but ultimately it shouldn't blind us. So it's a very thin line. Yes. Very thin line. Yes. It's it's a thin line, fine line, but you have to know how to manage it, and that's what intelligence is. So that's why Krishna talks about Bhuti Yoga, intelligence, of, yoga of the intelligence. Know what you need, and just live by what you need. And someone can take more for furthering the purpose of uh, the service of the Lord, then that's fine. But it shouldn't be to the degree that I'm sacrificing my soul. Just like in the Bible, they say, what is the use if someone